I would say that I have talked about the game room in previous videos here and there, but I feel like one of the biggest things that everybody wants me to talk about is kind of like what I'm doing here on out. I've done a little update, a little bit of previous, and I don't wanna also be one of those people who's like clearly just trying to get people to watch a million game room videos. So I kinda want this to be like the, the final detailed explanation of kind of where we're going. My dog really wants to play. Where we're going and how things worked out. Come on, Taffy. Look, she doesn't like to let go. Go, dog, go. Okay, she, all right. So, let me explain how the game room flooded. The, the reason the game room flooded, and I almost just stepped in a poop. The biggest reason that it flooded as well, mentioning my dog, when I got a dog, you can come back here and check this out. This garden looks horrible now. The dog dug it up when, when she was a puppy and kind of messed things up and we kind of forgot about it. But when I got the dog, what I did is I put all of this around my yard, all of this chicken wire, so to say. So I put it everywhere, you know, she's a little puppy. I'm like, I haven't really checked these areas. I don't know if she's gonna be able to get through or not. And I obviously didn't want her to. So I kind of shoveled some areas to kind of, to block some areas back here. I kind of just had this whole, whole area filled up with dirt and trees and things like that. And little did I know, I was pretty much building myself a giant dam. Damn. Like around this part of the yard. And what I didn't know, and I think what the, the most crucial thing that I wish I did know, is that this is where the draining was going. We didn't really have much drainage. Again, I know a lot of people criticized me like, you should have drains like this, always set up, always set up. And I agree. Now looking back, obviously I should have agreed, or I, did, I, I agree, but California, the rains like that just never happened, right? It was almost like getting uh, tornado insurance here. It's like, well, what's the point? Like, it never happens. Obviously it happened, but, so with me building the dam right there, I blocked out the area. Maybe I'll steal it from my wife for a second. This area back here, that's kind of where it was supposed to escape from. And it just kind of blocked it. And again, it's probably not the best thing to be, to be you know, to, to drain from. It's very simple, very light, but that's what it was. And so the water didn't know where to go. And little did we know, it just kind of all pushed it like right into this area and this area. And all the water, I mean, if you look back on the video, I mean, this was like, this deep probably at this point. It was kind of like this high over the door when I first got a hold of it. That's kind of where it was at. And um, it just messed things up. It messed it up pretty bad. And luckily again for my neighbor, that's where we threw all the water over there. Um, that's kind of how we, got, we figured it out. And now the damage. People ask, what's the damage? What's the damage on this? Well, damage wasn't too bad. Uh, the biggest damage was inventory loss. That's where I took the, mo the biggest L, so to say, is inventory loss, uh, collection. I in collection items, like my personal stuff, I probably lost like a grand. In inventory and stuff that I was using to flip for more stuff, probably lost like two grand worth. And this is where it's at right now. There's some bowing. It's not super bad on the flooring. Um, the bowing's not too bad. You can see some right here but I can give you guys, I'll, I'll st steal the phone from my wife for a second. I can show you guys what the game room kind of looks like, but then from there, I'm gonna tell you guys kind of what we're doing with this place and what, what the future plan is. We've pretty much decided at this point. So as you can see, it's pretty emptied out. And I have another video that I'm gonna kind of show some of this stuff. Um, the main thing I pointed out, I didn't show this in the other video because I just got this, these, these two Nintendo cabinets, Whoa. which are awesome, kind of like grail items for me in my collection. But the kiosks are gone and they're being held uh, by my buddy Chris at Retro Games Plus. He's kind of holding that stuff. I just put skateboards in here just because, as you can see, I have so many skateboards. I needed a place for them. Um, this isn't mine. We're actually holding this for Shady J from the Game Chasers. We just picked it up for him. Uh, he's coming down here to pick up some arcades. So we picked this up for him, uh, holding it for him until he comes and gets it. But uh, I think the biggest thing that a lot of people are gonna wanna know um, is what's the plan? And before we get into that plan, you know, when we're game hunting every weekend, one of the things we specialize in is making sure that we're making safe decisions and safe bets out in the wild. But what about safe decisions and safe bets when browsing the internet? That's where I'm thankful for today's sponsor, Atlas VPN. Atlas VPN is a virtual private network that has over 6 million current users. That's what I'm talking about. This is quite literally the cheapest there is to offer at just $1.83 per month, plus three months extra with a 30-day money-back guarantee. When I first heard that, my brain was like, oh, $1.83 per day, that's not 
not bad. And then I realized $1.83 per month, that's nothing. Some other benefits may be like, imagine you're looking for something on Google. With Atlas VPN, you can search the web with real and organic search results and do it without tracking any of your activity. It stops ads and malware. This is more than just a VPN. It blocks all malicious links, ads and trackers, and notifies you when someone is trying to steal your data. You can also save some serious coin while doing so because when you're signing up for certain subscriptions, depending on where you're logged in, you can get things for cheaper depending on what region you're signed in from. Look at this, y'all. All right, Japan, I wanna do it from Japan. Here we go, Japan, it is. And I'm talking things like Netflix, Spotify, airlines, hotels, and more. And might I say, it's not just like for your computer, this can protect unlimited devices. Atlas VPN quite literally protects all your devices with one single subscription. Grab the big deal because now Atlas VPN Premium is just $1.83 per month, plus three months extra. And with a 30 day money back guarantee, protect your privacy and get many benefits of Atlas VPN for the ridiculously low price. You can take this big deal just by clicking the link in the video description below be quick as it's a limited time offer. Like I said, $1.83 per month. That's now that's a deal and we're all about deals. Before I move on, I never want to miss an opportunity to thank a sponsor because honestly, sponsors are vital. Now that we are a whole team, we're a crew. There's a bunch of us that keep this show going. So thank you. What are we doing? Are we starting fresh? Are we, we've, we've gone through every option, every which way thought process. What should we do? What can we do? What's right to do? Um, could this be fixed? Yes totally could be fixed probably for a few grand. Uh, there was some mold stuff, which kind of worried me a little bit. I saw it in some of the stuff uh, that was on lower level in the ground. I could see some green fuzz growing out and stuff like that. Uh, even like dew, mildew type stuff just kind of worries me. This totally could be fixed. But as you can see, if you look around, what do you notice if you do, my wife, you can do a full pan 360. What do you notice around, no, full 360. Check, look, look, go see around here. What do you see in this neighborhood uh, that you don't see back here? Uh, we started thinking to our brain a little bit, what if um, we knock this down? This is the plan for now. This isn't guaranteed, but this is where we're heading with this. If we knock this down, we're debating building back here. Like that, that's, that's what we would like to do. Our, our goal would be to knock it down and build a full on three, four bedroom home back here, obviously with an a, a, equipped uh, for a game room as well, with without being either a big room or a big uh, garage or whatever it may be. But to kind of have that option for other reasons. And now if you guys are in that industry and in that world, you know that this isn't something that you can do overnight. So I don't want to keep bogging you guys with like updates, updates, updates as it goes. The next time I show you guys or talk to you guys about it, we'll be like, hey, we, we knocked it down, so to say. But that could be months, years, even with with permits, finances, uh, planning. I actually do planning for a living. So there's a million different options on what we would do with the way it would look, how it would play out. But that's where we've landed with our decision, with our family, uh, with my wife, with just our, our brain, where we're at in the world. Uh, I think there's some opportunity there with rentals or owning or selling. And as you guys know, we own a place in South Carolina as well. So our brains are just playing all over the place. And I didn't want to lock myself into knocking this down and just build, you know, another, another shed game room. So to, way, so to say, I was like, I feel like there's so much more opportunity there with this giant backyard already zoned, by the way, for ADUs, additional dwelling units. Literally what I do for a living as a planner. Um, there's just so much opportunity and everybody in this area has it and we don't. So uh, yeah, that's where we're at. And I kinda just uh, wanted to let you guys know because I feel like I was very thankful for the support on the video. I think it got like over 200,000 views or so. And it was just shocking to me that so many people were interested in what happened that I was like, okay, I feel like I'm due to give them an actual explanation versus just showing them a piece of the game room. So with that said, I'm gonna get out of here. Watch this. See how fast my dog is. Ready, come here, Jaffy. Sit, watch, up, sit, paw, down, lay down, lay down. Hey, lay down. I'm gonna have to, lay down. Hey. Oh, she listens as good as Ricky does. Yeah. Oh God, she almost ran in. All right, thank you, see ya.